Today I'm going to be shooting this video using my cell phone and a wide angle clip on lens. I did it using the Zhiyun Smooth Q3 Access Gimbal. Now this is a game changer right here you guys. I'm going to give you a, a little tip and a little secret about how I get all those smooth cinematic intros. This is some Hollywood shit right here and if you're a vlogger or you have a YouTube channel, I highly recommend you get one of these. It's also compatible with the GoPro and other action cameras. If you're interested in this, they're only about a hundred bucks right now. You can find it on my Amazon page in the description and the link below. Those stairs wore me out. So let me show you guys what these used to be all about. Let me see if this one's open. <coughs> that one's locked. Looks like somebody's already sealed these off pretty good. But we're not going to give up. I'm going to get into at least one and show you guys how cool this place is. <coughs> Can we get a moment of silence or silence with a little music? A lot of stairs here and I'm out of shape so that's why I'm breathing hard look that's one let's check it out oh that's not gonna work let me just go all the way down to avoid the hassle <laughs> looks like they got it blocked off okay Nope, I guess we just gotta push. I don't wanna make too much racket though and I wanna hurry up because I'm not sure about my car. <coughs> Here we go, okay. This was where you would come and have a romantic time with your loved one. It's a little jacuzzi and you guys come here at night or during the day and you can have a badass view of the lake. Somebody came and put roses. I think I know who uh, may be responsible for that. Not quite sure. Little changing quarters, little sexy changing quarters, you know? It's pretty interesting, pretty interesting, especially because I've been here, you know? It was a very long time ago and um, yeah. I wish these were still up and running because it really is not a far romantic getaway. And now they're uh, they're all abandoned. It's really too bad. Same. 
but no doubt people would come here and get freaky deaky. <laughs> that sounded so cheesy, I know, but that's what people did, you know? Here's another one, look. I forget how much they cost. I want to say it was by the hour. It was like $30 an hour. But man, look how dope that is. Man, so all you guys out there, if you ever want to impress a girl, find a spot like this. You can rent it out, have it all set up with your ice chest and your wine and stuff like that. Bring it here at night, candles all around here. Woo, that's what's up. It's that love making music. Yeah, really, really cool. interesting I didn't grow up too far from here same city actually I'm not gonna say the city because you know, the urbex world how we do and believe me I wish uh, a lot of you guys asked for locations and I wish there was a way let me turn this around a lot of you guys asked me for locations and I wish there was a way I could just give the location because I'm all about helping channels. I know what it's like to have 50 subs. I'm not saying I'm in the millions or hundreds of thousands, but uh, <laughs> I know what it's like to have a small channel. And it would have been nice if somebody would have helped me. But uh, it's complicated. If I share with one person, I'm trusting that they're going to keep that location to themselves for their channel. It doesn't work like that. They end up always giving it away. That person takes three of his friends. Those three give the location to three of their friends. It's just all bad. So, wish I can help you guys. But right now, unless you're a legit explorer and I like what I see, you're doing it for the right reasons, the way I'm doing it. I'll trade only with you. But anybody else? Once in a while, people roll with me, but that's about it. So I'm assuming this is where you would have had like parties. I have heard people having romantic parties here back in the day because this, this has been here quite some time. Late 80s, I was told. And people would rent out like 10 of these rooms and invite their couple friends and have a party here. And then everybody would go back to their private tubs, you know. Here's another one right here. I don't believe there was ever a tub here. It was just used for partying. Probably can set up a bar here. Maybe even a DJ. I don't know. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Really, really quick. I wouldn't go as far as to call this place a dud. Uh-oh, who's that? Okay, never mind. I wouldn't go as far as to call this place a dud or a dead location. It's just not very big. Don't know how long it's been abandoned. But uh, it is cool, however. I will catch you guys on the next video.